YouTubers, it's Snap on John 100 here, live from Cranberry, New Jersey, down here at a Hyundai Advanced Body Electrical Training. And I was uh, just thinking about um, where today we worked, went through AC, and um, I just thought, you know, I wonder how many people were just wondering how AC actually works. So I thought I'd just kind of give you a real brief overview of how um, automotive AC works. Um, first, we're going to talk a little bit about physics. Um, when you're talking about um, cooling something, uh, we have to talk about heat flow because uh, cold doesn't really flow. Uh, one of the laws of thermodynamics is um, heat travels from a hot environment to a cooler environment. And there is no cold flow or anything. Cold is actually the absence of heat. So it's really uh, not something that exists. Um, but anyway, the, we're also talking about things you can measure uh, temperature with. You measure temperature with a thermometer. That's measurable heat. Well, the heat that we're going to utilize for air conditioning and being able to suck heat out of something is latent heat or hidden heat. And it's the heat that is given off or absorbed when matter transfers from one state to another. Um, and the example that I'm going to be using is water. Um, when water, if you can put a an aluminum pan on a stove, turn the heat on, and you can get that pan hot enough to warp. You fill that pan with water, and um, the water heats up. You can measure with the temperature rise with the thermometer. That's um, the measurable heat. It, when it gets to 212 Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius, it starts to vaporize. And you can turn the heat up as much as you want, and the temperature does not change one bit with the thermometer. But what is happening is all that extra heat energy is being absorbed into the uh, vaporized water molecules and it's uh, this latent heat of absorption. And so this is what we're going to utilize that principle for air conditioning. Um, I've got a crude drawing here, you can see it, of an AC system. and the front of the car is this direction. Up here is the radiator. It's a heat exchanger. Back here in the cabin, under the dash, is, is the evaporator. That's inside the AC box. And there's a blower fan on it. The radiator also has a fan, but typically when you're driving, you've got um, just airflow over the radiator from, your, from moving the vehicle forward. This is the compressor, so when you start the cycle, um, the AC compressor is pumping, uh, it sucks in gas, a low pressure gas here, and a, it, what comes out of here is a high pressure gas. The pressure could be anywhere up like 150 all the way up to like almost 300 PSI. When it hits the radiator or heat exchanger, it's such a high pressure and there's uh, wind blowing over it. So what ends up happening is the um, this is a cooler area, so this all this gas condenses in the radiator. So it changes from a high pressure gas into a liquid in the radiator. So when it changes from a gas to a liquid, the latent heat that's in it is given off into the atmosphere. And so um, it's given up. So what happens here is you go through here and you've got... Um, a high pressure liquid. This, the red here is the high pressure side. The the blue is the low pressure side. There's a restriction right here. It can either be an orifice tube, or it can be a a variable valve. But either way, it's a restriction. When you have a restriction, you can create a high pressure and a low pressure across this restriction. So as you're pumping here, on the other side of the restriction, you actually have a low pressure. So as soon as this high pressure liquid goes through this um, orifice, it immediately starts, it becomes a low pressure liquid that starts boiling. When it gets to the evaporator, which is a heat exchanger, it actually um, boils all the way to a gas, and when that happens, the um, latent heat, the, there's a fan that's, that's taking um, inside air and blowing it over the evaporator that air um, through the fins 
the is uh, losing all of its heat to this gas as it sucks in all the, heat, the latent heat when it changes state from a liquid to a gas. And then this heat laden gas comes on out the compressor. It's low pressure, but it's full of latent heat. The uh, compressor pumps it up to high, uh, high pressure. It passes um, as a high pressure gas over here. And once again, it's condensed into a liquid. As soon as it's condensed into a liquid, it um, gives up all that heat that it was holding. And then the cycle is started over and over again. And what this fan does is it actually blows air from outside or if you've got recirculation on it blows cooler air from inside the cabin and recurls it and as this cycle continues to happen um, you're constantly sucking heat out of the air blowing it outside the car so as you're doing that it's getting what's resulting is this area is completely cold and so you end up with cool air coming out if you turn recirculation on you're taking cool air already and, and drawing more heat out of it so it becomes even colder and that my friends is exactly how an AC system works